So what is facility management? Basically, the name of this course, facility operations, facility management. Primary purpose, purpose is to ensure a facility is run safely for all those who might be in and around the facility. You have lots of visitors that come in, lots of users, all different ages. You have learn to skate programs for toddlers, right up to pickleball for seniors. And you have lots of different people coming in, spectators that could be uh, have a disability or need accommodations. Uh, so you have to know that your facility is safe. Uh, facility management entails a variety of skills such as planning, designing, leasing, project management, facility marketing, and construction management. So what do you think is the most important skill and why? So if we're looking at this list, what to you would be the most important? Is it planning? Is it designing, leasing, project management, facility marketing, construction management? Me, I'm going to pick project management just because of the vast amount of projects that take place in facilities with upgrades, renovations, and so on. So that's what I'm going to pick there. And that's why, and why do I think it's the most important skill? If you are not able to manage projects correctly, it can really get out of hand. The timelines can get derailed. The budgeting can go way out of whack. Um, the quality of the project can go downhill. Uh, there's many things that can go wrong with project management if you're not a good project manager. Okay, next slide. Is maintenance the largest part of the job? Well, when surveyed, facility managers have highlighted that maintenance absorbs the greatest amount of their time. Now, I'm not going to say that this adds up to 100, but there, I left off the smaller things. Um, so facility, or maintenance, 17%, followed by space management, 14%. Interior design, 11%. And budget and forecasting, 9%. So definitely maintenance is a, a large portion of the job. Just think of the facility and the showers, the change rooms, um, the field maintenance if it's outdoor, the cutting of the grass, the fertilizing, the aerating, the lining of fields, all maintenance, um, you know, redoing your gym floor, uh, sanding it down, refinishing it, putting new lines on, uh, painting, uh, just maintenance, it, go, it can go on and on and on. Very important part of the job. And when you get involved in working in a facility, uh, athletic facility, um, you may find that, uh, you know, maintenance is one of the first things that you do. Uh, and that's not a bad thing. Everyone needs to learn how to maintain a facility from the cleaning up to the projects. So duties of a facility manager, long and short-term planning. We talked a little bit about that in the last slides regarding the short-term and long-term. Financial forecasting, so you need, need to be able to budget your different projects, your staffing, property acquisition and disposal, maybe not quite as high on the list, Specifying work responsibilities and space use. Now, space use is something we'll talk about in this course and how important it is to adequately use your space and uh, use it for a multiple of activities, not just one thing. Um, and you might just thinking, well, it's a nice rink. I'm going to be playing hockey on it. Well, no, there's some rinks they use for speed skating, curling, uh, figure skating, learn to skate, burn ball, so on and so on. So you can just think of all the multi-use space. Architectural and engineering planning and management, a bit of that. Managing all phases of construction and renovation work, yes, definitely. Managing maintenance systems and protocols. So maintenance systems uh, could include uh, your HVAC system, your fire system, your 
security system, all kinds of different systems in there. Uh, managing all operations from administrative functions to security protocols. So administrative functions, it's, unfortunately, it's a part of every job. Uh, if it's filling out paperwork for an injury or if it's uh, just your regular emails with your, with your staff, uh, all sorts of different things with administration. So the facility manager, facility managers are assigned a wide range of tasks in planning, designing, and managing facilities. They're responsible for coordinating the physical workspace with the people and work of an organization. So we'll read that again. They're responsible for coordinating the physical workspace with the people and work of an organization. So physical workspace is the facility, indoors or outdoors. Uh, they need to be, they are the responsible for coordinating anything that happens in that area. What other functions or jobs do you think facility manager needs to be engaged in? You know, what skills do you think you bring to a job as a facility manager? And how can you run a facility more effectively with all these responsibilities? So you know, what other functions or jobs do you think a facility manager needs to be engaged in? Cleaning, staff management, budgeting, and what skills do you have? Is it scheduling staff? Is it doing a staff schedule, that sort of thing? Is it uh, um, hiring? You've hired staff before for different, uh, different responsibilities. How can you run a facility more effectively with all these responsibilities? Well, time management's a big thing. You need to be able to take your time and use it effectively, uh, and at the same time, be able to do a variety of different things and look after all these different responsibilities. And I have one more slide here. Can you give an example of how a manager has to respond to emergency at a sport facility? And how would you lead those in charge if you were a facility manager and there was an emergency? So let's just think about that for a minute because it, it's, this is a scenario type of thing. Uh, how can you give an example of how a manager has to respond to the emergency at a sport facility? Well, we know number one, which I just mentioned, is that safety is number one. Okay, so we have to remember that safety of the players, of the spectators, of anyone coming to the facility is number one. Look after what the, uh, their safety. So we know that almost every athletic facility or these um, community recreation facility has AEDs in it now. So if someone's having a, a heart attack, uh, AEDs are nearby. You should make sure that all your staff are trained in first aid and in the use of AEDs. Uh, usually if you have a pool, if you're managing pool, the lifeguards are super qualified with first aid because of drownings, drowning, possibility of drowning. Um, so how do you respond? Do you call 911 right away? Do you ask someone to call them for you? Do you have your staff meet an ambulance at the door? Uh, don't you stay on the phone with the ambulance? Many different things to consider. And how would you lead those in charge if you were the facility manager and there was an emergency? So would you take charge? Would you let someone else? Would, would, what would if you, you know, I have to think sometimes it's life and death that are uh, at stake here. You know, is it, uh, you know, a player has gone in headfirst into the boards in hockey and has a neck injury? You know, what do you do? Do you leave them on the ice? Do you move them? So on and so on. There's many things to think about here. Do you delay the game? Do you cancel other rentals? Um, you know, do you check your fire extinguishers monthly? Do you check your emergency lighting? Um, those sort of things. If there's a, you know, in the case of a fire that may take place. So lots of things to consider. Um, when there is emergencies at a sport or at a, or at taking place during a sport at a facility or a sport facility, and think about what you would do if you were to lead the people, to make sure that the people that are injured are going to have a, a good outcome.